Hey guys, Sony here. So this is an August haul video, or a August, August, not August haul video, of all the things that I've accumulated so far this month. And normally I would shop a whole lot more, but this time I was on a budget because I'm an adult now and I have very big bills to pay, unfortunately. But I'm going to jump right into it and show you all the things I got. I'm going to start off with the accessories. So I'm going to start off with my glasses. I got three pairs recently, ironically all within the purple pinkish color tone. I got these bad boys for five dollars on Canal Street, and I also got these for five dollars. Thought these were pretty cool, and these are my favorite. I got these at LF for about eleven dollars. I love them very, very much. They don't protect against the sun, however, so they do defeat the purpose of sunglasses. But they do have a very cool look to them. So I figured they'd be great for my collection, hence buying them. I'm a huge backpack person and not a handbag person. I just, I don't know, I just don't never, never like them. So I got these two, which I'm really excited about. So the first one is a mini checkerboard backpack from Dickies. If you know me, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with checkerboard. I'm currently working on getting my whole room down to checkerboard wallpaper. But it's a cute little size, adjustable straps. Don't mind my PJ pants because I was not planning on standing up up until right now. Really cute. Fits all the essentials. And then this guy I got from a brand called Petals and Peacocks. It's got flame all over it. It may look a little faded because I wore it to Warped Tour and I know it got some abuse that day. But I like how I can put it both on my shoulder or even wrap around. Very easy to carry on, perfect for festivals, or perfect when you want to just drop a few things in and we're off to the next best thing. I just have two last accessories that I want to share that I completely forgot. They don't really, well this one doesn't count as clothing at least, but I got this very fuzzy purple notebook from Forever 21. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it or not, but it just felt really nice so I figured I had to get it. <laughs> and then I picked this up, this PVC clear grommet belt from LF while they had their 70% off and I went numerous times and spent way too much. But I thought this would be really cool with a pair of jeans. I don't own a lot of belts, that's why I get a lot of high-waisted pants, but yeah, figured I'd add that to the closet. Going in with the bottoms, I got two skirts and I think two pairs of pants I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to try on right now. Welcome to the corner of my room. So now I'm going to show you guys the two skirts that I got for my birthday. Both I got from my boyfriend's mother from Dolls Kill, which I'm very excited about because it's my favorite brand. So the first one happens to be this black corduroy mini skirt. It's got two buttons, silver zipper going all the way down, and two sides of pockets. It's very, very cute, and you could also unzip the front. So that's skirt number one. Skirt number two is also from Dolls Kill. It is a mustard color. It is also terry. I wasn't too sure about this one at first because there was too much excess fabric in the front. Kind of making me look like I have a little kangaroo pouch up in here. But very cute. Very comfortable. I'm not wearing it 100% straight. Here we go. Okay. So this is skirt two. Next in the bottom slash pants category, I got were these denim black shorts from Karmar, but I also purchased these at LF on sale. One of my favorite part about these pants were these side pockets. You actually unbutton them, not unpop them, silly me. But those were really rad. I love how they fit. Fortunately, I did put on a few pounds, so getting them off is not as easy as getting them on. But yeah, very cool look. Had to add them to the collection. I will now show you my favorite item out of this entire haul because they are the coolest pair of jeans I've ever owned. Um, this brand a few people might have actually seen online. They're called Revise Denim. I was a little skeptical at first, but I was like, they're really rad, need to have them, and you will see why. So, they're yin yang crops. Well, they're called the yin yang crops. One leg is black, one leg is white. They zip her down all the way around to the complete back. And yeah. Next up, we have these black cargos that I also got at LF. Extremely comfy, a lot of distress strips going down and around. I have ripped them a little bit more since I got them. So honestly, majority of everything I got at this haul, I got at LF, including the next three shirts. But this is one of them. It is a vintage NASCAR team. I really like it. It's cropped. It's cut. 
more up in the front than it is in the back, and these zippers also come down, and there's a mesh backing, which is pretty rad. So I also got these two vintage Harley tees, which I am very happy about because I've been looking for one for the longest, and I don't have the patience to thrift, I'll be completely honest. Everything always fits me either too, too big, or just, it's not a good look. So I found these two, and I really like them. They have little distresses all around. This is the first one. I guess I'm getting too lazy to finish this whole try-on haul, but this is the second one. It's in gray, more or less the same thing. My next piece is going to be this ringer tee from the Ragged Priest. Love the color blocking and it's white and it's my bad on it. So I actually won this on an Instagram contest. The whole purpose was to share a mad ba um, a my bad moment, which was either your biggest lie or just something you kind of regretted or something you did in your past. And mine was my sophomore year of college. I was working two jobs and I was taking a summer earth science class and I never woke up on time and I never went. So I was kind of failing and I decided to talk to one of my professors because I knew if I didn't, I definitely was going to fail. And I told them it was really hard as a struggling single mom. I wasn't even dating anyone. My bad. My other favorite piece also happened to be a birthday gift. And is none other than a checkerboard cropped jacket. I got this from my best friends Nina and Andrea. And... Shocker, you can get this bad boy at Target. This extremely low quality video is almost over. Bear with me. So I have three, actually four, pa five pairs of shoes to show, but I'm not going to show the other one since it's the same shoe, just in a different color. And that would be these Jeffrey Campbell dad shoes. They're gorgeous. I snagged these guys for $29 and I got the same color in army green. It did have to go half size up, and it turns out even that was a little too small, so I should have gone with an 8 and not a 7.5. Next up. Is it really a haul if I don't get a pair of Vans, which I do like every month? A pair of yellow Vans that I want to wear to the Color Factory. And I got a pair of boots for school slash my internship. I got these from Dolce Vita. A pair of studded booties with a side zip. Very, very cute. Got a little... Little heel, I won't lie, I almost busted my ass and sprained my ankle, but we do it for fashion, right? I just now realized that if I left my phone light on in front of my laptop, the lighting would be so much better, but I was a little too late. For my last pair of shoes, another pair of Vans. So they recently came out with a Van Gogh collection that sold out hella quick, but luckily enough, I was able to find the pair I wanted by complete coincidence. Now look, it's an unboxing. Ah! Lo and behold, the skull slips. To conclude my haul, I actually won two Instagram contests in the same week. The first one was the Rag Free Springer Tea. The second one was a makeup brand called The Quang Co. I believe they're based in the Lower East Side here in New York City. And just by a random coincidence, I won. And I anticipated, you know, a few things. They sent me their entire line. I'm actually wearing a few of the products right now. I've never heard of this brand before. Randomly entered this contest. I do it all the time. I think my friends know that I'm the annoying friend that will constantly tag them in things just because you never know. So, I'm wearing a few things right now. Three are my all time favorites. So, it's called the Starry Eyes Illuminator, which I use right underneath my brow bone, a little bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow. You can't really see that too much, but it looks great. It's nice and glittery. Ah! The other two, it's actually a combination of these two lip lubes. The first one is called Grape Scotch. I don't know why I did that. It's not going to show. Grape Scotch, and the other one's called Minotaur. Very fun colors. Depending on how I feel about this video, I might actually do a second one because I have over 34 lipsticks, three nail polishes, one illuminator. Seven more lipsticks, a palette, and some other things, so it is a lot of stuff, and I'm not going to sit here for an hour, and I'm pretty sure I feel really bad for keeping you for this long already, but I honestly love the products. They're really great, and they're all cruelty-free, too, so I would definitely encourage you guys to check them out. So there goes my entire August haul. Thank you so much for having the patience to go through with how poorly done and how terrible the quality was. I really appreciate it. If you do like or have any other ideas, you could always hit me in my DMs at Sony from Coney. Check out my blog and all that other fun stuff. So potentially and probably see you on the next one. Bye.